Welcome back to Wall Street Confidential. We are focusing on one stock which doesn't get a lot of street cred. No, not and at it's, all. It's Occidental Petroleum. It's a Westwood-based company. Profit there leaped 53% to an all-time high, and Jim. Best properties, uh, replenishing, drilling right, safe mm -hmm. areas, good natural gas exposure, excellent chemical business. Uh, at all times, a much unheralded company. Ray Arani used to do a lot of speaking about it, CEO. Now they send out Steve Chase, and he's very good, although he happens to be on the board of Washington Mutual, just added one of my least favorite stocks. Uh, Occidental is the one that's closest to its 52-week high, which was actually next week last year, when oil was dramatically lower. And I would urge people to recognize that this is one. I used to own a fractional large plus .com. I made 40 points on it. I shouldn't have sold it. It was that good a stock. This is one that people have to recognize is because it's not promotional, you're going to overlook it in favor of looking at Exxon, in favor of looking at Chevron. Look, Conoco. Conoco. I like Jim Mulva. Very good conference call yesterday by Jim Mulva about the future of oil. Uh, Occidental is one of those companies that is unheralded because they choose to be unheralded. And so, therefore, it gets lost in the clutter. But it is the best performer of the group, and people should really stay focused on it. Do you buy it now after the earnings came out, or do you wait for well, a pullback? Well, I don't like to buy up two bucks. I think that they're, one of the things we know about the futures is that they go down as much as, you know, the, what happened, you know, this whole oil sell-off had to do with a strong dollar, which therefore people felt, you know, you should sell commodities because the reason why they think it's up is because the dollar. Wrong. The trajectory of the commodities is what matters. I mean, if oil, were, if, if all we cared about was the absolute level of, uh, level of the oil stocks, then Occidental would be much, much higher given the fact that oil was nowhere near where it is last, right. uh, last year. And so that, that matters. What really matters, though, is demand, um, which, is not, which is around the world really unbelievable, and in our country actually not slowing despite the increases. And supply, and Occidental has the supply. I like that. And you think it'll take out that high next week? Yes, I do. All right. Well, wait for that. Thanks so much, Jim Kramer on Occidental. You're watching Wall Street Confidential. Please stay tuned.